Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome. Remember to subscribe. <laughs> yes, remember to subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nello, a Nigerian-based YouTuber. Okay, and today I have Francis here with me. Yay! I know some of you have been wanting him to come back to this channel, and I bring him to you guys today. Okay. Anyways, for today's video, like. I asked you guys on Instagram and Snapchat what you would like to see me film and if you're not following me on Instagram and Snapchat, please do so, okay? I'm going to put the links right here, right now, somewhere on the screen. Anyways, and some of you said, most of you actually said we should do husband does my makeup, but we're like, eh, that video is like all over YouTube, like you literally cannot scroll down your timeline without seeing someone's husband doing someone's makeup and I'm like, I'm not about to do that right now. I really want to put out videos that you people will find very useful. And there was somebody that commented or that replied uh, my Snapchat story that I, when I read it, I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to really film this because I've pre previously talked about it with Nazom. And if you don't know who Nazom is, I'm going to put her channel down here, Nazom of Nazom's Corner. And we're like, we should just do something marriage related. And we just came up with talking about how difficult the first few years of marriage really is. You know, everybody thinks marriage is it's all sweet and all <laughs> loved up things but hey it is not so today we are here to just share our just our struggles and things that we've been through these past few years we've been married now for how many years three years three years yeah <laughs> so guys before we start i just want to read this message that someone sent me and it just really made me actually want to do this video she was like, good morning, hope you slept well. Please tell us how you two have been coping with the first five years of marriage. I heard it's usually the toughest. Also, how did you cope with it before you got married? I remember you saying he met you at your house and called you his wife, but I'm sure you people got to know each other. Kindly consider answering this. I'm having issues with someone and discussing marriage with. So because of this, we are going to tell you guys how we met before we continue with the video. This is actually why I said to tell you guys how we met. And please, if you heard this noise, just ignore it. As you can see there, I don't know if you guys can see him. My son is sitting right there on his high chair and he has a pot cover that he's playing with. Don't just ask me why. So that's why he seems to make the noise. Anyways, um, yeah, go ahead. Um, how we met? I think that was December 2013. Um, I accompanied my dad for an introduction. I'm dancing out. I saw one chick first on the line dancing as if that was her day. And I just knew that was it and I decided and made sure that I spoke with her. Not on that day. Yeah. He did to, not speak to me that make, day. I had to make a he second call because I house. entered the house. It took and, and because it No, I actually entered that very day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you didn't yeah, see Yeah, but I didn't see you and I asked around, I asked questions and I made my second call. Hey. You don't know I made my second coming and it was a success, and this is us. And we're here today, basically. So the day I actually... <laughs> the day I actually met him was the day he actually came back to my house the second time, which was on the 30th, like two days after the introduction. That was the day we met. Basically, he came with his parents to visit my parents, and... Basically, that was it. We met, yeah, we maybe, got maybe, talking. Maybe that was the scope, right? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, they, they, they came. Just to meet me. Anyway, that was the day I met him. And yeah, and from, that day, from that day, we basically started talking. Yeah, and talking. Like, remember that day I wanted to go. I didn't want me to go, you can see. You wish. The first day you met me. You wish. You guys, let's just get into <laughs> why you are here. See, when it comes to dating, to him, when did we start dating? No, no, like when do you think we started dating after we met in December? Immediately now. Exactly. That's the problem with this story. Immediately, because... as, in, as in, for me, I, I don't, I, I don't believe or the, as in there is a pattern, right? Or maybe Forget the, way, the story the about Kiana. As in things should you be. You guys. Right? He, because we started talking on the phone like every other day, he assumed we already started dating from January. We were not dating in my head. We started dating to me around May. That was when we started dating in May. To him, we started, so in January. We started dating yeah. when you said, let's see how it goes. They're just like, let's, see how, let's see how it goes. We started dating in May to me. So to me, technically, we did it May, June, July, August. We got engaged in August exactly eight months after we met. 
that was short but as you guys can see it was the right choice <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, because i knew what he, he, I no, wanted, he's the kind of person that knows to, exactly what he wants to say it right to yeah say so at right first action. i did i wasn't thinking marriage sincerely and because he came with the i want to marry you thing i'm like Please, who is it first? I just finished my masters. I want to live life. I want to chill with my friends in Abuja. Like I just wanted to just enjoy my life. And this one came with marriage. I'm like, you know what? I'm not having this. Let's just see how it goes. But eventually, along the line, around that May kind of period, I'm like, mm, this boy is actually not that bad. Cause you guys, you guys, like, there was a time I would tell him stop calling me on the phone, stop disturbing me. But that, he did not give up. That, that was the initial <laughs> I, I I saw him between the lines, right? I, I, I don't know, really know. I know there are why. times where people say no and they actually mean as they mean yes. Maybe. Right? I mean, maybe. Because he just didn't give up. People have tried told him to free me and stop calling me. Like, he didn't call me for a few weeks. But then there was a message he sent me one day and I was just like, you know what? I have to give this boy a chance. You know? So I think I was very forgiving you. Um, yes. You were I didn't know, I wasn't. <laughs> I don't force things like that. <laughs> No, no, but, but as in, truth be told, we don't, as in, we didn't force it, right? No, we didn't we just allowed it. We actually allowed it to play out. Like, letting it happen my own time, when I was ready, it makes a whole lot of difference. So, point is, don't feel forced into doing something you really do not feel like doing. Do it when you feel like it's okay for you, when you're comfortable with it. Because that was what happened when it came to the whole marriage stuff. Yeah, was, like, like, and he knew, the moment I got comfortable with him and I knew it was okay, this boy is the person like I can live with for the rest of my life. He knew and he proposed like immediately. Okay, the way I saw it as in me knowing or me being sure the first day, as in I won't say okay, fine, it's hundred percent and all that, but that's the first step. Try getting to know the person and the more I got to know her, the more I knew that yes, what I felt that first day was true. So for me I knew and I had to give I had to let her or would I say give her that time to also know him. What if that's what she really wants? I just needed time to know if that was what I wanted as well and if I would actually fall in love with him because at first I was not in love with him. This one loved me from the world. One of those words, yes, please. I'll use the word like, right? That's what he says from day one, you guys. Maybe from like one month after I met or like two weeks after I met, that helps him. I'm amazing like that. I know, don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, I needed to actually like know if it was what I wanted and in the process of getting to know him after I opened up my mind because at first I didn't have an open mind about the whole thing I opened up your mind yes <laughs> I it, up. it was locked and Another yes one. it was actually locked and once he opened up my mind and I it's saw how world. amazing he actually <laughs> was I mean I just had to love him he wasn't even at that point I just knew I just knew that this is the man I want to marry and he knew when the, the switch flipped and proposed literally like few weeks later and we got married we did our introduction the next month in september nine months after we met and our wedding was just like over it like our child was a year after we met exactly a year after we met and because our child was 27th december of the next year we met 28 december of the previous year can you imagine and then our wedding was two months later so and we're here today three years later we've known each other now for four years but we've been married for three years moving on Talking about the first few years of marriage, like I really have a lot to say when it comes to this first few years of marriage. She was annoying. Ah. This man right here. A lot of people that know Francis think that oh he's this angel, he's dead. He is not, you guys. But, Francis is the most annoying person you can ever no, come no, but, Obviously, dating and marriage is really, really different. Some people say, oh, marriage is the same thing. It's not. There are aspects of dating that you carry on to marriage, but then again, there are aspects of marriage that is so different. For example, when you're dating, you can wake up one morning and not even like, you know what, it's over. I don't want the game. There's nothing like it's over in marriage, at least if you want your marriage to last, you know. There's nothing like getting angry and saying, it's over. But for me, as you add to that, for me, I feel it's the foundation, right? Yeah, he as always once, says that. Yeah, once, once the foundation, foundation is there, then no matter what the other person does, like, mm. Yeah. As a one, one, if your foundation match, is match not strong, day, like the way you explain it to me sometimes, like building a house, if your foundation is not strong and you build this fine, beautiful house on top, 
eventually is going to fall because the foundation is not strong. But if the foundation is strong and you build something that's not strong on top, the foundation it, um, can keep it. The foundation can keep it. It's just to bring it down and build again and yeah. make sure it doesn't get to the foundation. I think that's. Yeah, he says that a lot and he has actually put it in my head. So now I know that no matter the quarrel, no matter what happens, I like to believe that we have a strong foundation and we just know that we both want to be married we know that we both love each other and we just know what we want out of this marriage so no matter what happens we we have that in mind while we're making decisions i don't know if you guys patience patience that's, that's another thing that, that, that's oh my fear. goodness the first year <laughs> of marriage your, your we both did not have it really didn't have to be your video yeah. i swear we didn't have patience the first year of marriage like the smallest things could like get us so angry and we'll fight and fight and by fight not physically like verbal fight and we'll argue and we'll not talk to each other for two days sometimes even three days we'll just like good morning and they kept reducing and then we tell you funny enough even though we're not talking to each other days, we will day. not go out i will not go hmm. anywhere that's one thing that at least for marriage, it's not the kind of marriage that you get angry and say you're going anywhere. Oh, you're you're not, not sleeping in the same room. You ain't going nowhere. You're sleeping <laughs> you're on that bench. <laughs> in I fact, sleep angry. I, and, when, and when it affects you, then you know that, yes, you have to oh, argue. Oh, oh, you guys, he wants to poo-poo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They put him on his body. Gobi, wait, 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 wait. Good job, Gobi. Put him on his body. <laughs> Jesus. Good job. It's good. Even leave him there. Let him stay quiet there. Um, yeah, it's not the way you get angry and say you're leaving the house, you go to club, but you get angry, you will not sleep in the same room. We have never not slept in the same room. We always, always sleep in the same room, on the same bed, no matter how angry we are, and there's not going anywhere when you're angry. You're stuck in this house with me. We'll be watching the TV together, be angry at each other. Don't talk to me, I won't talk to you. Even though we're angry, we we're, were there. And eventually when we calm down, you know, um, we we'll sort ourselves out. And don't make decisions when you're angry. We have made some stupid decisions <laughs> because we were angry. But again, all these things really happened the very first day of our marriage. And like he was saying, like with each, God, what are you doing? Okay, with each passing year, you just get better. With each passing year, nice if you want to get better, if you want to get better, yeah, you if you actually make, you learn, learn effort. from your quarrels yeah. or your mistakes and everything. So don't make decisions when you're angry like i make stupid decisions when i'm angry a lot of things i even say when i'm angry i don't even mean it and and i learned that a long time ago yeah, so when, <laughs> when she says all that at first he like, didn't know but okay. later now sometimes when i say something he's like i am not even tired of saying this all the time so basically now he knows what i mean and what i don't mean because we're married for a while so you just learn each other more you just get to know each other more with every person here of your marriage i'm sure i don't even know him very well yet and i'll keep learning about yeah, him it's a continuous process yeah it's a continuous process so don't expect to know everything before you get married or once so, you get married um, another thing i like to talk about is make sure that when you have this um disagreement you actually learn from them yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't just you know make up for making up sick talk about it like that's one thing i like to do like you know i like to talk about someone like me i will send you a detailed message yeah, yeah, of yeah, how they, i feel they call it, they call it, they call it after, after action review right and <laughs> when you do something you yeah. now review what yeah, did you do right do that. what did you do wrong mm -hmm. how to improve next time and um, try to yeah he's, keep he's that kind of person that will make it so a, sort of a topic of discussion <laughs> people will say what you did wrong right what to change in case that kind of situation presents itself next time you know just so you don't make the same mistakes over and over and over again and it really helps make sure you talk about it communication they always tell you it's it's key guys communication is is really key voice your opinion for me if they close your mouth you talk from your ear so just leave that part right <laughs> no <laughs> there are some people that yeah, when you're annoying they don't say anything they just take it in you know some people they just swallow it and keep going on with life. That is not me. I cannot swallow something and keep going on with life. I have to tell it's still the same thing. They block your mouth to talk through your ears. Nice. I have to tell you that you've annoyed me and this is what you did wrong. And because of that, like he knows things that annoy me right now. Like he literally knows everything that annoys me. It's amazing. Like sometimes he wants to, he must have said this something like, oh, let me not do this now before you get annoyed. I'm like, clap for yourself. Clap, clap for yourself. You know. <laughs> But basically, like he knows things that annoy me, and he just avoids doing them. The same thing is applicable to me. 
I know things that annoy him now. He would do sometimes. Yeah, that's what I wanted to add. I thought you would say you avoid doing them. Was it? Yeah, sometimes you just want to poke it and see my reaction. But hey, you guys, just voice your opinion. Like, but just know how you put it. You don't have to be rude about it. But just talk about things. Talk about things you're comfortable with. Things you're not comfortable with. Things that annoy you. Things that don't annoy you. Things you love. Things you like. Things you hate. Just. Make sure you communicate because yep. the other person is not a magic. Yeah, okay, person. so another thing I would like to bring up um, in marriage, you have things that you love doing as individuals, and you should have things that you guys love doing together as in mm -hmm. a shared um, a mutual hobby. Um, hobby. In marriage, it is so important to like have your own thing. You don't have to do everything together, even though it's good that you have things you do together like there are things we do together there are shows we enjoy watching together even though i particularly don't like to watch shows with him but anyways there are shows we enjoy together mostly shows on dstv like all these comedy shows we watch like that together all the time we eat together like they're just things we do together that we know that is something is our thing basically but then there are things i do on my own and he does that he knows it's his thing and it's my thing and we need things to be our things like separately like because we're married doesn't mean we have to do every single thing together because that would drive you crazy like i love the fact that he goes to work and i go to work or even if i'm not at work or he's not at work i just love that we give each other space we're not like to each other's face all the time because you get tired it's i get tired of my children that i love so much that i give birth to so like you you can get tired of anybody so you people need to give each other like that space to actually grow, that space to experiment, that space to just be you. Anyways, you guys, yeah, like sex is very important in the marriage. Like you, like intimacy basically doesn't even necessarily have to be sex. It could be just being intimate. Mom, me too. I don't even know how we uh, have two children. Like, miracle, <laughs> Jesus did it. Amen. <laughs> Anyways, that is equally important as important as every other thing the thing about marriage is that all these little little things are important and it's what makes up the marriage it's not one thing that makes you guys like a typical married couple it's not one thing that makes your marriage it's a lot of things that actually make your marriage work and a lot of things that makes your marriage what it is so yeah basically everything is everything is important one last thing i wanted to talk about as nigerian like i kind of get some people ask me this question from time to time, just randomly, actually, is like when it comes to sharing responsibilities in a home. Like for us now, it just depends on the kind of marriage you're in. There are marriages that you have agreed your husband, you know what, everything is 50 50. You contribute 50% financially. So obviously, you expect him to contribute 50% when it comes to like house tools and all that. I work, I make my own money, and he makes, your money, right? My money is my money, guys. <laughs> but his money is our money. <laughs> but basically, I work, I make money. He works, he makes money. But Francis is the kind of person that wants to take care of his family. That is just his kind of person. And I'm the kind of person that wants to be taken care of. So it really works for two of us. Like, I do things with my money. Like, it's not like I want to do my hair, I'll collect money from him. I want to buy things, I collect money from him. I don't do that. I can afford all these things. He takes up more responsibilities financially when it comes to the home. I just automatically take up more responsibilities when it comes to like things around the house because he actually works hard to provide for us. The way he contributes, let's say, 70% financially for us, in the house, I contribute 70%. So you guys get, so he gives 70 and financially and, 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 I give, <laughs> and I give and 70 zero around, around the house and then he gives the other 30, which sincerely, it's actually enough for me like that 30 is just enough there are a lot of things i like to do i don't want him to cook for me i don't want him to say like there are things i really genuinely enjoy doing that i don't need him to do for me so that's just how it is for us so i'm not telling you like what to do but there are some people that do 50 50 there are some people that just wing it but for us i would like to say like 70 percent financially me 30 and then around the house me 70 him 30 not like it always has to be that way. Sometimes when I need him more around the house, he's always there to help. And sometimes that he needs me financially, obviously I'm there to help as well, as long as we both can. You guys, that's basically it. That's just what we wanted to come out here and share with you guys. Marriage, we've been married for three years and it's not been easy, guys. It has not been easy. It takes a lot of work. You have to put in work for your marriage to work. You cannot just expect 
love to carry you all the way. No, you still love people and you wouldn't like, but you'll not be able to live with that person because you're not putting in the work it takes to actually share a home together. Right, as in every marriage is different. Yeah. So it's just uh um, you don't have to little, take our advice here. Yeah. yeah, little experience and yeah. You can pick up just one line of what we said and it might make a so difference might in your marriage. Different, but it shouldn't be like a template because what works for A can might not work for B. Anyway, that is all we have to share with you guys today. Hopefully you guys you guys just find this very insightful, you know. I'm always happy to share these kind of things and yeah. We are happy to share our experience with you guys, okay? And I'll start appearing more, right? I'll start vlogging. You guys, what, what yeah. video do you want him to appear on? What do you guys want us to talk about? Just let us know. Leave a comment down below. We'll be happy, happy, happy to come up here and, you know, talk about it or make a video about it. Please don't tell us to do husband does your makeup. I don't even think that's going to happen. It's going to be so hard. Pay you for what? For my parents, man. I'll pay you in. You do not. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.